Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another Clan Wars campaign battle here. Uh, it's a battle on the Ensk map, and it's on the advanced front, so it's 15v15. So it's similar to normal advances and uh, Clan Wars global map uh, battles. Uh, we're up against Panda Clan. Uh, Panda basically took over from Qi and renamed the clan, so it's now a Chinese clan. Now we're following Nigel and his chieftain, and he just did a blind fire up the, the rail tracks there. It's quite common to have um, heavy TDs at the end, and you can see they're actually pushing down those lines, so I'm not sure if he got a blind shot out of that, but it's definitely worth um, doing that. But he did get spotted, so yeah, possibly didn't. Uh, anyway, they pushed at least one chieftain up into the corner. Um, now that's good news, because that's an isolated tank. That means there's less tanks there to battle in the middle. Uh, we've pushed some chieftains into the field, and you can see we've got our really heavy tanks, the Object 279Es, and um, we've got quite a few of those, and E3s and a V4, but uh, pushing some tanks up there to try and push the corner and get overmatch those tanks, but the other chieftains have split now because they've started farming the um, enemy tanks at the back. They've got good hull down positions using their strength of their um, turret armour to reduce the amount of damage they'll take and these other enemy tanks are just out there in the open and uh, really take damage. I'll just see if we can just uh, give a zoom in there. No, it's not quite as easy as I thought. Anyway, so we'll stay with this view and you can see the um, The enemy tanks in the corner have to poke out to do any damage and our tanks are mostly behind hard cover although they're now exposed to the ones in the middle. Um, Alright so now the enemy's pushing their chieftains up so that's been noticed and the chieftains at the back doing the support and now laying into them so all turning their guns towards those chieftains. Another overmatch situation. We are losing some health and some tanks but we're already three tanks up and uh, we think we've spotted everyone now so we can see the hit point difference is nearly 10k so this game is pretty much going to go the way that indicates and we're starting to melt their tanks so good concentrated uh, fire what you call focus fire so they're calling out the targets and getting the low hit point tanks dealt with straight away and you can just see there that 47 hit point tank just disappears there's a few other low hit point ones now. They've pushed two tanks down into our cap area, but we've got two E3s there, and they can deal with them. We certainly trust them to, to do that. Nigel puts a shot in to the E3 as he goes through. And now we're six tanks up. And really, yep, this is game over at this point. So 12-4. And straight away 15-4, so game over in less than five minutes, and a great win there. Right, so we've got the team results here. Let's take a quick look at the team scores. Uh, okay, sorted by damage, so Nigel actually got top damage in that, so well done there, Nigel. Uh, but a good spread of damage across all of the tanks. You can see three tanks did over 3k, and most of the rest did over 2k, and a few did just close to that. Um, so that's always a good sign that um, all the tanks got involved and did damage. Uh, the enemy team, they got a few zeros there, but they did get one tank up to 3k who would have been at the back uh, defending. But um, interestingly, an E4, which is not always a favoured um, tank destroyer for these games, but maybe that's all I had. Anyway, um, great effort from the team. The um, uh, Panda are a good team, they're well rated, but clearly they weren't engaged properly in that um, map. Maybe the call was not good, but um, we always respect our uh, opponents there. So quick look at the economics, um, small loss there with ammunition and consumer walls, um, and compensated a bit by battle payments, but uh, that's the way Clan Wars rolls. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Uh, we'll have more great content for you through the week, and thanks for watching.